Good morning, everybody. I'm Miss Lamb. Hi, I'm Vivian. And today we're going to read you Nerdy Birdie Tweets and by Erin Reynolds, pictures by Matt Davies. And today's pajama day. And today she's in her pajamas for pajama day. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Nerdy Birdie Tweets. This is Naughty Bird. Nerdy Birdie loves playing video games. This is Vulture. Vulture thinks video games are boring. Vulture loves snacking on dead things. Nerdy Birdie thinks dead things are gross. Nerdy Birdie and Vulture are very different, but they are also best friends. Three things Nerdy Birdie and Vulture love to do together. Number one, make fun of each other's lunch. Gluten, flavor, texture, and excitement-free breadcrumbs, edible product. Ooh. Number two, make silly faces. Number three, take goofy pictures of each other. One day, Nerdy Birdie discovered an amazing new game. It's called Tweetster, he told Vulture. What does it do? asked Vulture. Lots of things. Number one, collect tons of friends online who may or may not text you back. Number two, play games with them all. Number three, tweet messages and pictures for them all to see. Sounds, um, awesome, said Vulture, even though it really sounded kind of dull. An hour later, Nerdy Birdie had 50 new Tweetster friends. I'm friends with the Flamingo. Neat. A day later, Nerdy Birdie had 100 new Tweetster friends. He played Angry Worms with an ostrich and tweeted his score. I'm friends with an ostrich. How cool is that? Cool. A week later, Nerdy Birdie had 500 new Tweetster friends. He had never dreamed he could have that many friends. I'm friends with the Puffin. She lives in Iceland. Iceland! You're friends with a vulture, and she's dying of boredom. Boredom! Let's do something different. In a minute. This is not fun. Did you realize I can fit your whole body in my beak? I could eat you in one bite if I wanted. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Vulture decided she'd had enough of watching Nerdy Birdie play Tweetster. Vulture spread her wings and flew away. An hour later, Nerdy Birdie finally noticed. The next day, Vulture had a surprise for Nerdy Birdie. Vulture had joined Tweetster. They Tweetstered together all morning. At lunchtime, they put away their games. It was just like old times. They made fun of each other's lunch. They made silly faces. They took goofy pictures of each other. But when they logged back onto Tweetster, Vulture found a surprise waiting for her. What is this? At Nerdy Birdie, at Vulture Girl is a messy eater. She eats dead things. Ew. Oh, that? It's a picture from lunch. Why did you tweet it to all your Tweetster friends? I thought it was funny. Just because you thought it doesn't mean you should tweet it. Why? It's embarrassing. I just thought, no, you didn't. Vulture spread her wings and flew away. An hour later, Vulture hadn't come back to their favorite telephone wire. A day later, Vulture still wouldn't answer any of Nerdy Birdie's calls. Vulture! A week later, Nerdy Birdie found a dead squirrel on the road, Vulture's favorite snack. He waited for hours, hoping she might stop by. Vulture never showed up. But then it hit him. Nerdy Birdie had 500 Tweetster friends. He'd asked them for advice. He tweeted, My best friend is mad at me. What should I do? Ten minutes later, nobody had tweeted back. An hour later, nobody had tweeted back. A day later, only three Tweetster friends had tweeted back. At Puffin Stuff said, What do you want me to do about it? I live in Iceland. Unhelpful. Ostrich49 said, LOL, 
stinks to be you. Super unhelpful. Pink Flamingo 7 said, Try not to be such a bird brain, LOL. It wasn't meant to be helpful, but it was super duper helpful. Nerdy Birdie closed down his game. He opened up his tiny little wings and he flew. He flew high, he flew low. He flew across town, he flew over fields until he spotted her. Vulture blended right into the branches of the dead oak tree, but Nerdy Birdie knew his best friend a mile away. I was a bird brain. Vulture said nothing. I shouldn't have tweeted that photo of you. Vulture said nothing. I'm sorry, said Nerdy Birdie. You should be, said Vulture. I really am. And he really was. What about your 500 tweetster friends? Nerdy Birdie shrugged. One real live you is worth a thousand tweetster friends. This is Nerdy Birdie. This is Vulture. They are very different. They are also best friends. Some days Nerdy Birdie decides what they should do. Take that! I just beat your Angry Worms all-time high score. Superior Worm score. One more game please. Some days Vulture decides what they should do. Dead raccoon! Dead ahead! I see it! And some days they even get together and tweet, 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 tweet. Did you like that book? <laughs> yeah. The end. Can I show them something? Yeah, <laughs> that's Vulture. I hope you guys have a great day and get outside, play.